Hi there! Today we are going to discuss about Cushing Syndrome. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, though, thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you. I upload my videos two to three times in a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's Let's jump into the video, nurses. Hello there, nurses. Welcome back sa ating video. Kagaya nga ng sinabi ko, today we're going to have a thorough discussion of your Cushing Syndrome. This is another medical surgical nursing video para sa yo. Alam ko na Cushing Syndrome is really a common topic or one of the topics that we have in, you know, what's this in medical surgical nursing. And on this video, I will give you a thorough discussion about that. Let this video be your guide. I will give you everything that you need to know, definition of terms, causes, signs and symptoms, diagnostics and assessment, and of course, your nursing interventions. Yun at marami pang iba. Now, in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back to our formal discussion ng yung Cushing Syndrome. This is your nursing care management. Tama ka nga po dahil ito ay panibagong entry natin sa ating medical surgical nursing kung saan I created, you know, lectures and discussions about some of the concepts of your med surge. Now, let this be your nurse study guide sa pag-aaral mo ng Cushing, 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 Cushing Syndrome. Alright? So, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other videos natin regarding sa uh, medical surgical nursing, I actually have tons and quite a few of them you might want to check that out para ma-refresh ka and kung hindi mo pa na alam or kung gusto mong magkaroon ng mastery ng ibang concepts about sa med surge i-check mo lang yung playlist ko about sa an, um sa medical surgical nursing topic okay and i'm also going to be putting some of the video links playlists link dyan sa description box or if you want kapag nagpapout yung icon button dyan click mo lang yun ililink ko yung ilan sa mga yan okay nahanda ka na ba Let's proceed. Siyempre, sisimulan natin ang ating discussion with our objectives for today. We're going to have the overview of your Cushing syndrome, the causes, clinical manifestations, assessment, diagnostic finding, medical management, surgical management, and of course, nursing intervention. Let's begin. So first stop, ating overview. Ano nga ba ang ating Cushing syndrome? All right. Now, Cushing syndrome is a disorder of the endocrine system. Let me just put it right away. So, Cushing syndrome o tinatawag natin Cushing's disease o sa ibang libro, sa ibang term, tinatawag din siyang hypercortisolism or adrenal hyperfunction is a cluster of clinical abnormalities caused by excessive levels of adrenocortical hormones. So, particularly cortisol. Now, this uh, these are related to corticosteroids and to a lesser extent of androgens and aldosterone. All right? Now, the prognosis depends on the underlying cause. It's poor in untreated people and in those with untreatable ectopic corticotropin-producing carcinoma. So, Cushing, mapapansin mo sa mga prefixes niya, hyper, too much level of your cortisol. So, tatalakay natin yan sa mga susunod na slides. But, let's discuss the causes of your Cushing syndrome. Ano nga ba? Paano nga ba nabubuo to? At bakit nagkakaroon ng isang tao isang pasyente ng Cushing syndrome. The causes of Cushing syndromes include the following. Excess. Now, in approximately 70% of patients, Cushing syndrome results from excessive production of corticotropin and consequent hyperplasia of the adrenal cortex. Naalala nyo sa ba ni, ano ba yung gland natin na nagre-release ng ating cortisol? Hindi ba ang ating adrenal gland which is located on top of your kidneys, right? Now, ano pang ibang causes? Pwede rin two more. Uh, in the remaining 30% of the patients, Cushing syndrome results 
levels from a cortisol secreting adrenal to more, which is usually benign. Okay, so once again, these are the causes of your. Cushing syndrome. Now, what are the clinical manifestations? Like other endocrine disorders, Cushing syndrome induces changes in multiple body system depending on the adrenocortical hormone involved. So one of the clinical manifestations nga ng iyong Cushing syndrome is your muscle weakness. Now, muscle weakness is due to hypokalemia or loss of muscle mass from increased catabolism. Ano pa? Buffalo hump. Buffalo hump is one of the symptoms included in the Cushing's triad, and these are fat pads over the upper back. Ito siya o buffalo hump. Yung para siya nagmumukong buffalo, yung para mayroon siyang parang nakaumbok sa kanyang likod, ayun yun. Not really likod, but dun sa may nape part. Resembles to the, you know, uh, physical characteristics or appearance of a buffalo. Now, ano pa? Moon phase. Now, moon phase is a symptom included in the Cushing's triad or Cushing's triad and are recognized as excess fats over the face. Excessive fats nga po. Now, truncal obesity. Fat pads throughout the trunk refers to truncal obesity. One of the symptoms of Cushing's triad. Peptic ulcer. Now, peptic ulcer results from increased or production and pepsin secretion and decreased gastric mucus. So ano pang makikita mo sa Cushing o sa Cushing disease? Meron ka rin dyang irritability. Now irritability and emotional liability ranges from euphoric behavior to depression and psychosis. Meron ka rin dyang hypertension. Hypertension occurs due to sodium and water retention. Compromised immune system. Increased susceptibility to infection due to a decreased lymphocyte production and suppressed antibiotics body formation. Anong mapapansin mo, you guys, sa clinical manifestations ng iyong um, what's this, Cushing? Di ba lahat pataas? You're talking about Cushing, Cushing, Cushing syndrome. Kaya nga management dito, mamaya tatalakay natin, di ba? Cushing, papababain. Cush, cush, kakash-kashin natin tong mga fats na to. Kakash-kashin natin itong mga manifestations na to. Okay, don't worry because I got you, baby. Mamaya tatalakay natin yan. For now, let's, let's proceed with our assessment and diagnostic findings. Paano nga ba natin ito dinadiagnosed? Ito nga siya. To detect Cushing syndrome, the following are performed. Please take note ha, low dose dexamethasone suppression test. So dexamethasone, uh, 1 mg is administered orally at 11 p.m. and plasma cortisol level is obtained at 8 a.m. So ang interval niya, the next morning, and this usually confirms the diagnosis of Cushing syndrome. Ano pang pwede mong gawin sa pasyente mo? Stimulation test. In stimulation test, administration of metyrapone, which blocks cortisol production by the adrenal glands test the ability of the pituitary gland and hypothalamus to detect and correct low levels of plasma cortisol by increasing corticotropin production. So, para ma-rule out din natin ang ating um, uh, Cushing syndrome, ano pang ginagawa? Siyempre, may imaging tayo dyan. Ultrasound, CT scan, and angiography localize adrenal tumors and may identify pituitary tumors. Diba, isa sa mga causes niya yung benign tumors natin sa adrenal gland. Ah, uh, so yun. Kailangan meron tayong imaging, baka yun yung cause ng iyong uh, Cushing syndromes. Ano pa? Electrolyte levels. A patient with Cushing syndrome include an increase in serum sodium and decrease in potassium levels. Increase in serum sodium as manifested by what? Hypertension, which is one of the clinical manifestations. Because wherever sodium goes, water follows. May ano pa? May decrease levels of potassium. Alright? So, ano pang mong pwede mong gawin? Meron kang blood studies. Now, indicators of Cushing syndrome include an increase in the blood glucose levels, a reduction in the number of eosinophils, and disappearance of lymphoid tissue. Once again, you guys, these are the diagnostic uh, procedures that you can uh, expect from a patient who's uh, when we are trying to roll out Cushing syndrome. All right, so what are the medical management? Dito sa slide na to, tatalakay natin yung pharmacologic therapy. Now, the focus of medical management nga po ng yung Cushing syndrome is the treatment to restore um, hormonal balance and reverse Cushing syndrome. And this may actually necessitate radiation, drug therapy, or surgery. Tatalakay natin yan. Now, pituitary radiation. Okay, patients with 
pituitary dependent Cushing syndrome with adrenal hyperplasia and severe Cushing goid symptoms such as psychosis, poorly controlled diabetes, um, osteoporosis, and severe pathologic fractures may require pituitary irradiation. In terms of medicine naman sa pharmacological therapy, ano yung mga binibigay mo? Meron tayo dyang adrenal enzyme inhibitors, namely ito yung ating methirapone, aminoglutetamide, metotane, and, and ketoconazole. All right. Now, this may use to reduce hyperadrenalism if the syndrome is caused by ectopic ACTH. Ano yung ACTH mo? Adrenocorticotropic hormone secretion by a tumor that cannot be eradicated. Ano pa? Cortisol therapy. Cortisol therapy, you guys, is essential during and after surgery po. This is to help our patient to tolerate the physiologic stress imposed by the removal of the pituitary or adrenal glands. Okay? Now, what are the surgical management to treat uh, Cushing syndrome? Ito na po siya. Well, removal of the adrenal or pituitary gland offers a greater success rate for the recovery of the patient. Ano yung mga surgery na to? Ito yung transphenone needle hypophysectomy. Did I say that right? I think I didn't say that right. Let me try one more time. Transphenoidal hypophysectomy. All right. So ano to? This is a surgery to remove a tumor by transphenone needle hypophysectomy. Is the treatment of choice if Cushing syndrome is caused by pituitary tumors and has 80% success rate? Ano pang isang surgery? Yung adrenalectomy. Ectomy removal of your adrenal gland. Okay? As simple as that. Now this surgery is the treatment of choice if the patients with primary adrenal hypertrophy. Tatanggalin na lang yung lumalaki nating adrenal glands. Ito, malapit na tayo. What are the nursing interventions for your Cushing syndrome? So, tatalakay natin to isa-isa. In terms of decreasing risk of injury, so nurses, here's what you're gonna do. You need to provide a protective environment to prevent falls, fractures, and other injuries to bones and soft tissues. Okay? Ano pa? Assist the patient who is weak in ambulating to prevent falls or colliding into furniture. Recommend foods high in protein, calcium, and vitamin D to minimize muscle wasting and osteoporosis. Or you may provide referral to see a dietitian for assistance. Okay? So these are your nursing management or interventions in terms of decreasing risk of injury. Next, decreasing risk of infection. What are the things that you can do here? Now, you can instruct your patient to avoid unnecessary exposure to people with infections. Bakit? Kasi nga meron silang um, a compromised immune system, right? So, instruct them or isa sa mga health teachings na pwede mong gawin is you need to provide instructions to stay away from those people with infections. Ano pa? Assess frequently for subtle signs of infections, corticosteroids, masks, sign of inflammation and infection. Be mindful about that, okay? Now, in terms of preparing patient for surgery, pre-surgery, ano yung mga dapat mong gawin? Ito, monitor blood glucose levels and assess tools for blood because diabetes, mellitus, and peptic ulcer are common problems. Now, in terms of encouraging rest and activity in nurses, you can encourage moderate activity to prevent complications of immobility and promote self-esteem. You can also uh, instruct or provide or plan rest periods throughout the day and promote a relaxing, quiet environment for rest and sleep. All right. So, paano mo naman ipopromote yung skin integrity? You can instruct your patient to use meticulous skin care to avoid traumatizing fragile skin. Avoid adhesive tape which can tear and irritate the skin. You can assess skin and bony prominences frequently. You may want to encourage your patient and assist the patient to change positions frequently. All right. How about for improving body image? You can discuss the impact that changes have had on patients' self-concept and relationships with others. Major physical changes will disappear in time if the cause of Cushing syndrome can be treated. Remember, napaka-impactful nito in terms of how they look. Kasi di, di ba, nagkakaroon ng moon phase, merong buffalo hump, tumataba, trunkal obesity. So, you know, body image is really something that we can help our patients 
to cope up, okay? Now, weight gain, truncal obesity, de ba? So, weight gain and edema may be modified by low carbohydrate, low sodium diet, and high protein intake. This can reduce some bothersome symptoms. All right. Now, in terms naman of improving thought process, you can explain to the patient and family the cause of emotional instability. Kasi nga, di ba, may irritability. And help them cope with mood swings, irritability, and depression. Report a psychiatrist behavior. Encourage the patient and family members to verbalize feelings and concerns. In terms naman of monitoring and managing complications, nurses, makinig ha? Now, adrenal function and Addisonian crisis. Nurses, you need to monitor for hypotension, rapid weak pulse, rapid respiratory rate, pallor, and extreme weakness. Note that factors that may have led to crisis, example nito, stress, trauma, and or surgery. Surgery. Administer IV fluids and electrolytes and corticosteroids before, during, and after surgery or treatment as indicated. Monitor for circulatory collapse and shock present in Addisonian crisis. Treat promptly. Assess fluid and electrolyte status by monitoring laboratory values and daily weight. Monitor blood glucose level and report elevations to physician. Acute adrenal crisis is a life-threatening condition that occurs when there is not enough cortisol, a hormone produced by the adrenal glands. Malapit na talaga tayo dito, nurses. Promise na. Now, how are you going to assist your patient in terms of monitoring and managing complications? Present information about Cushing syndrome verbally and in writing to patient and family. If indicated, stress to patient and family that stopping corticosteroid use abruptly and without medical supervision can result in adrenal insufficiency and reappearance of symptoms. Emphasize the need to keep an adequate supply of corticosteroid to prevent running out or skipping a dose because this could result in a Addisonian crisis. Stress the need for dietary modifications to ensure adequate calcium intake without increasing risk for hypertension, hyperglycemia, and weight gain. Teach patient and family to monitor blood pressure, blood glucose levels, and weight. Stress the importance of wearing a medical alert bracelet and notifying other health professionals that he or she has Cushing syndrome or Cushing syndrome. I'm sorry, I'm just used to calling it Cushing kasi nga doon ko, ko na associate na kailangan bawasan yung excessive amount of cortisol niya sa katawan niya, okay? So, Cushing. Now, you nurses can also provide referral for home care as indicated to ensure safe environment with minimal stress and risk for falls and other side effects. Lastly, you can emphasize the importance of regular medical follow-up and ensure patient is aware of the side and toxic effects of medications. You nurses, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want me to do for you. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo po yung mga next nating medical surgical discussion videos that I created. Nako mag enjoy ka. Napakarami pa po. Once again, I want to grab this opportunity opportunity to thank you who's watching right now for for supporting me and believing in my channel and my contents maraming maraming salamat po ipamalita mo na nga sa radyong seda ang pinakabago pinaka fresh at ang pinaka libreng review center for all nurses out there sa balat ng youtube i'll see you again next time you stay safe thank you so much you guys for watching i hope you learned something happy bonus channel you already here you might as well subscribe hashtag don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box. So simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe. I'll see you again.